alive. Oh, you're not ready? Right now, there's A to B. You want to try it again? We have at least a success here. It's partial success, right. but success. All right, listen, it looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> Wait, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I think it's All right, ready? Now it's A, B, C. C to D, C to D. Oh. Let go. Um, yeah, we did it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it was on top of me. Can you grab it? 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 Woo! I hope that was the final I'm show. Yes, it's not gonna work Yo, can you guys wave that. your hands near the machines yeah, that are clapping. moving the things? Okay. Did you say so wave that or move? No, I was just saying. Wave your hands. Oh, oh, I wanted to see which one it was. Okay, we're green. Alright, ready? Okay. Oh, you're trying to pick it up here. Alright, you, you, can, you can help it out because I know you guys will get fully finished. You were there, but you didn't. Oh! Cooper, Cooper, hard! Yeah, this is the neutron thing. Oh, 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 Solid, solid, yeah, he's gonna skill Adam Katz. Where does it Oh, we didn't put our flag on there. Whoops. Whoa. Perfect. Hey! 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 Alright, that's just for me. It just has to use one thing I draw. Yeah. Just show us one more thing. Yeah. Just show us one more thing. Yeah. They're really talking people. Alright, so show that basically the engineer, anything can go wrong. You know, so you have to compare it to the switch. You have to compare it to the switch. It's the book. We just talked about getting that off. And then if we had to. Redo anything, it would probably be have longer pipes from the beginning, so we wouldn't have to stretch as much and be able to have a larger base. Okay, so you you want to increase the base, give it more stability, longer pipes, so you don't have to. Okay, I like that. Um, next group. Where's our next group? Oh, it's us. Okay. Name name the group though. Hey, Adam Cats. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think if like the I'm gonna start with what we should have changed. I think what we should have changed was like, I feel like if we had thought everything out before we started, like when we started we knew what we were gonna do for the design, but if we had thought about like how we're gonna turn and everything like that, we would have gone Yeah. For example, 
we had um, we had such an individual idea. Yeah. But we didn't have it all. It was like a way to combine them all at the get go. Yeah. So we kind of MacGyvered our way through. Um, so, like we had a, our, we could have had our thing spin a full 360, but this, we didn't think everything through in the beginning, so it didn't work out that way. Um, and also same thing with the handle. Um, it, it, it was able to open, but at first we, but at first the problem was uh, it, it didn't actually, have a good grip, so, so we decided to to put a square to, to help the candy right. open. Now that design is really, really well. Yeah. You know, I think if we had more time and we did minor tweaks so we got the chance to redo it, we, we would improve those designs, yeah, like the yeah. design issues. Um, next group. Who's in the back? Oh, is it group name? Um, we didn't decide on our group name, but... The Wildcats. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it was like... Team Undecided. Goes. High School Musical, woo! <laughs> woo! Okay. Well, our, our thing, how it was supposed to work was we were supposed to turn it by squeezing it on this syringe. It does turn though, but once we... It does turn. Only thing it, like, it still turns, but when we put this on, it was leaning. Yeah. So you had to hold it up. So, wait, um, yeah, so it was supposed to work by squeezing the syringe, moving it, and then only using one syringe, this one, to move it up and down, closing and opening. Um, before we added this big part right here that moves it up and down, it was working, but it didn't uh, get down close enough to get the candy. And if it did get the candy, we wouldn't be able to bring it back up again because it would open and the candy would drop. We tried to fix it by thinking oh. of a way to put something underneath it to catch the candy before it dropped, but it didn't work out. So we decided to add this big part right here that moves it up and down, or should move it up and down, but uh, it's too heavy on this gear right here, and as you can see by all the red tape and string, we tried to fix it, but it didn't work, so I think next time if we got a chance to retry this, we would probably do something different here to make it lighter and um, make the gears more, more sturdy and the actual claw lighter and um, a better claw down here because we just tried to use two screws to be able to catch the candy, but that didn't work. So like, we don't that Yeah, it's just the extension of the claw that we tried to use to make it work a little bit. Cool. Okay. All right. I think with two more groups, right? Or one more group? Two right. more groups. We'll do our group. Right. So, one, two, three. Our group is uh, Team Nuclear, named after uh, Team Nuclear. the adjective that I came up with. Uh, yeah. Our group is uh, Team Nuclear. Uh, yeah. 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 The adjective that I came up with in our uh, icebreaker game when we came to the camp. And, um, you know, through hope and perseverance and uh, hard work and determination, uh, Team Nuclear was able to come out with a 95.9% .9 success rate at the end. And, uh, and so, as you can see here, we kind of came up with this idea of modeling after a train wheel with a piston uh, that would connect to a, uh, the wheel and, and go in, push it back, and then pull in, and then pull it back. So, it's kind of turning your wheel into 360. We came up with many problems, and then we figured out that you don't actually need a 360. So, we came up with uh, probably a 165 degree of a turn. And so, so our, our claw here is what this wheel turns. We, re we originally had like a gigantic box idea, but then the most uh, significant thing that, changed, that made a change real good was this gigantic base that held everything together. So basically when we were designing ours, we What's the name of your team? Oh, the name of our team is My Daughter. <laughs> my Daughter. <laughs> yeah, but it's daughter there. So basically when we were designing our thing, we came up with three modular concepts, so the base, then the arm assembly with uh, the tower and the claw. And each of those revolves around the piston system or the string system hydraulics. So the base has one that the gears, the arm has one that raises the lower end, and the claw has one that lowers it. 
So uh, we when we did our design, we each designed separately. So I designed the base, and then we we came up with an overall concept for the thing we wanted to look like. So we each set about building it and trying to do our our best to model it after the designs that we've done up. Uh, so uh, for the base. We needed something wide enough to hold both our gear systems. Originally, we were only one base plate, and we made it wider so it was more stable. But uh, if we had gone back, I think it could have been a lot, like maybe anchored to the ground or uh, larger, so it wasn't as wobbly. Um, but it has a piston that is, or a syringe that's attached to a gear right here, and so that one is able to spin, and this gear spins so it can turn the table or turn the tower. And there's a rubber band right here, which it was more useful in our original design. We had to go back um, because we wanted to change the gears, but originally this was just patched straight on, so it helps uh, push it back, but it still gives it some support um, on him pulling it backwards. Uh, so that gear system turns the power, which is based on the gear and it has another one on top, so it can speed straight into it. But uh, the problem that we ran into with this is that this wheel right here is on a base that's unstable because it's essentially a tiny little uh, piece that separates it from here. So it's like two plates with a little tiny M&M in the middle, essentially. So wobble back and forth. So we put little pieces of uh, beam inside it to, so support it to help stabilize it more. And we did that under all of our gears because that's, we had that problem with all of our gears. So they're slightly more stable, like this one especially. Uh, and then, guys, stop drawing stuff. We are not in soccer, football, volleyball, or the other drawing sports with the balls. So initially, we were on a, a single tower, this single beam right down the middle. That was really, really, really wobbly. So we connected these supports right here, which helped with the backward and the forward and back motion. Uh, to that there you go. Cool design there. Yeah, and our, so our original design had it so that it lifted up, and it was more—it was a kind of a box okay. shape mm -hmm. with this on one end and like a support on the other end. Similar to the one over here at the end, yeah, right? Yeah, very similar to that. But the trouble that we ran into that is that we discovered that it was too top heavy, and so it would fall over. Yeah. And obviously, that was a problem because then it would tip over and we couldn't right. get the candle. You think next time, right? When we do a design like this, right? That or any any design like that, it would have been good to have a um, like weights, actual weights. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I was, weights would have probably made the original project more viable, but it was still. I, I I like this idea a bit better because it puts um, less stress on a lot of the um, components. And it makes it easier to control, and it falls apart less. And it's kind of like it's kind of together. So something like lifting it up is it, it's it's simple. Lifting it up isn't necessary. Yeah. Necessary. But it's cool. Like I love I love the fact that when I look at it, like this is well structured. This is well structured. This is well structured. It just doesn't yeah. lift up, but it's well structured. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if I had to do something again, it would be um, I would put this like instead of a block here, I would put uh, a wheel, and I would put a wheel here too. So that it could, uh, when it moved back and forth, it would uh, the wheels would support it, uh, which would put less stress on the gears. It would make it have less friction, so it would move faster. Cool. And yeah, I really, I really like this part because it's the part that uh, well, it works most reliably, and it, uh, it's actually our only the only thing that we saved from the original design. On day two, we just did a um, complete redraw. So yeah. Okay, uh, our team name is my son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, but we could have, or, or basically what we did is we have these hydraulics here, then we make it turn, they make these turn, they turn 90 degrees. Um, right now it's under the water. Right, this hydraulic power is the arm, move it forward and back. And you had one here, but it came off, right? Yeah, we had one here, but we, it, it came off. So, and that would have moved this, um, the claw forward and backwards.